You don't always have to travel to the nearest big city for a night out at the movies. Some small towns are also showing films and movie theaters of their own. In tonight's Eye on Kellyland, Kelly Volk travels to Bryant, where it takes a lot of helping hands to keep the theater in operation. It's getting close to showtime at Bryant Cinema. Linda Schlenker, her husband Ron, and their daughter Samantha of Haytai are working the concession stand. It gets you out of the house. It keeps the movie theater running. It's fun. You get to see lots of movies and meet lots of people. But nobody is getting paid to keep the movies rolling at this small town theater. It's run entirely by volunteers. Jennifer Karstensen is the secretary of the Volunteer Board of Directors. We have volunteers who come in as concession workers, ticket takers, um, you know, even sometimes people who will just come in to help maybe with some of the other little things that you know, need to get taken care of. Stephanie Sauter also donates her time here, but tonight she's settling in to watch Tom and Jerry with her nephew, Bo. It's a cute little place to come to. The theater is more than 100 years old. The Main Street staple became volunteer run in 1995. It continues to attract audience members from Bryant and beyond. Willow Lake, uh, DeSmit, Lake Norton, Haytai, Clark, you know, we really kind of go from all Lake Preston, all over the area is kind of a nice draw for us. We even get people from Watertown, Brookings here and in all the surrounding communities. One movie ticket is just four dollars for anyone three and older. You can bring, you know, the whole family with tickets and popcorn and pop. You know, it's still reasonable. It's kind of nice to have that option. The pandemic caused challenges for Bryant Cinema, including trying to get high profile films on the local screen. Hollywood really, they're concerned with the crowd sizes, as everyone is. They would like to get um, more people in the seats before they put out the big blockbusters. And so they really haven't putting, been putting out movies that would appeal to our audience here in Bryant. And so we are, um, you know, hoping that soon they'll start giving us a little more product to work with. But this volunteer-run theater is slowly getting back into operation by showing movies every other weekend. Sometimes I think that people just write small towns off, like, oh, well, you can drive to Watertown, you can drive to Brookings, you know, go and do those things there. But, you know, we, we love our small towns and we still want to have unique, special places here. And to be able to have a movie theater in a little town like Bryant, you know, is it's a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal for those of us, you know, who live around here, who bring our families here. In a lot of small towns, the movie theaters have shut down and, you know, to have it here, it's something to do. It's a cheap way to see new releases. So it's, it's a good thing. And many volunteers, including this family, are making it happen. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Kelly Volk. Carstensen hopes more movies will become available so the theater can return to showing films every weekend. For information on the next movie and times, follow the links in this story on Kelloland.com.